Job chapter 14, verse 5, and it reads, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds, they cannot pass. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing. Keep believing. Keep the faith for God's people here for a bear. The only thing, only thing I can say is the water, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. That this devil is not going to rule for all eternity. Can't think we can't thank the Lord enough. We see all the tall tale signs that this devil is at his end of tyranny. You see, of lawlessness, of wickedness, thievery, crimes, lies. And my phone chimed in lies, straight up debauchery, man. It's, it's all the oh, I can't. Can't thank the Lord enough, man. And like we go, like we always go into, everything is gonna rejoice. We're pursuant to Proverbs chapter twenty nine verse two, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. The scripture said, only thing they do is lie upon their bed and think about wickedness. And when the morning is light, they go to where they go to their labs and things of that nature, and they perform it, man. They do not help the earth at all. All their technology, everything that they build, everything that they come up with destroys the earth and the people within inside of it. They have it with anybody else is saying. They'll come on the comment board tell us when he has done some great things to the earth. He has done nothing but destroy the earth. Sleaze to eat. This devil, this deceiver, this slanderer. And this time is short. Let's get it again. Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days, I tell everybody, damn it, sick. Animals are beaching themselves because the water so damn toxic. And, and you can't forget this man be dropping bombs and all that shit, testing his nukes, and them, them shit's hitting the water. What do you think it's doing to the to the um animal, the, the you know, sea the creatures? What do you think that water's doing to the sea creatures? You drop a damn bomb in the water. Yeah, it might not affect a human, but everything that's in that water, you affect it, and eventually it, it affects the humans because some of that fish we have to eat. Some of that fish ends up on our table. But the men that's out there in the highway and the byways preaching the Bible are the worst things created on the face of the earth. Are you serious? Are you serious? Job 14 and 5. Say his days are determined. The number of his months are with thee. The date, the hour, the second, the year. The heavenly father knows. He already, he already numbered it already. He already drew a line in the sand that this devil won't go. He's, it's just a month. He's not going to go past a year. You know what I'm saying? It's an hour. It's a second. It's a millisecond of another second of another one of the Lord's glorious days that this man will not pass, man. And, and it's fastly approaching. The number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So he's not going to rule forever, all right? He's not going to rule forever, Israel. This devil's not going to rule forever. It's, all, it's almost over. We can't thank the Lord. Just, just waking up, you no know, saying, you know, been up for a while. Just can't, can't thank the Lord enough that we're at the end of this devil's rulership, man. For real. I want to get this. Just throwing in the spirit right quick, man. We're, we're here now, Israel. We're here. Been a long time coming, just like just like ancient Pharaoh. He thought he was going to rule for all eternity because he had all the power, he had all the might, he had the military. He thought he was going to rule forever, but didn't the Lord eventually take him down? So the Lord will eventually take down his modern day Pharaoh, starting off with their elites, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Oppenheimers, the Sugar Growers, the Bushes, the Clintons. Eventually. They will go down eventually, Israel. Bear, bear with me, too. Eventually, they will go down. Proverbs chapter 29. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, and it reads, When the righteous are in authority, the people, we bring the scripture all the time. 
But it speaks volume, though. This scripture right here alone, that's why we can't thank the Lord enough for that gift of faith to believe in these words. It's happening, Israel. This economy is crashing. The Lord got spinning and said, this is the Lord's movie. The Lord's destroying this place within. You see? Within the core of this place, man. Proverbs, look, look, no more unrighteous decrees. When this devil go down, guess what, Israel? No more unrighteous decrees. No more laws. No more damn child support. No more going to some bogus, bogus charges. <laughs> no more walking around with a damn ID, a birth certificate, or a social security card. Can't thank the Lord enough for what's coming, man. Proverbs 29 and 2, and it reads, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. Everyone's going to rejoice. When this devil go down, the whole earth is going to rejoice. We can't say that enough, man. Everything is not okay. The earth is not being ran the right way, okay? The earth is mourning right about now. And the people within it is mourning right about now. Why? Because you got a wicked ruler. And he's never going to let up. He, the scripture says he rules the nation with a continuous stroke. He's never going to stop Israel. He's never going to stop. As long as he's in power, he's going to continue to destroy the earth. Let's get this. Sirach, chapter 10, verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. What are we saying right about now? Nothing but chaos. People are so fed up, they're just walking into the grocery store just stealing shit, man. They're willing to take a chance of going to prison just to, just to, just to put something in their stomach. It's some sad shit. Tent cities everywhere. Look look at the earth. Tent cities everywhere. They're making it to where no one can, can afford a house. So if you rent, for a rent an apartment, the damn landlord can just keep going up on the damn rent. Outrageous rent. And nobody has nothing to say. Ain't nobody complaining. I mean, this, this shit is not normal. But but we don't expect nothing less from a devil, from a deceiver. He's never going to help nobody out. The only person he's helping out is, is himself. He don't think about nobody else. He'll give you some effed up food, but then he'll, he'll go, go back through the door on the back end, you know what I'm saying, and eat something that's real. This is the kind of person that's ruling the earth right about now. He only cares about himself. As the judge of the people is himself, saw his officers. And what manner of person, the man of the ruler, it's like it. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. You see in examples of that throughout the four corners of the earth. Everybody's acting like the ruler. The ruler is a damn criminal. He's a crook. He's a deleter. You see? A warlock. A liar, a thief. So how the hell you think the people up under him is gonna act? Everybody that works for him ain't nothing but a thief and a criminal and a damn liar too. War, war every damn well. The reason why you see war happening throughout the four corners of the earth is because the wicked is ruling. When the true biblical Hebrew Israelites get back into power, it'll never be war again. The, 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 letting you know that those are not the people. Damn it, man. Everybody still believe that witchcraft, you know what I'm saying? Look, man. A covering cast. He showed up, put a covering cast over all the people. It's 2024. I call it 3024. Cause you can see everything is through right about now. That covering cast is so strong. You got Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans still to this day. Even though they read the scriptures, even though we break down the scriptures, starting off with the head apostles, slash elder bishops, a great millstone, the man on down. Even though we break down the scriptures thoroughly and show our people. No, we're not going to work breaking down scriptures and all that, but. From what they, I mean, they, they go to church. What did, what did, I can't even say that because the pastor showed them don't bring out no scriptures. Showing their congregation that those are not the people that, that this, this in that land, those are not the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. But they're not even bringing out those scriptures because they paid off. All the pastors are paid off to, to keep the lie going. 
That's why they want the men. They don't want the uh, the pastors in the church. They, they're not going to give them 100 years for preaching the Bible. They want the men of the Lord to sit down the highways. The Bible is breaking down the scriptures the right way. They, they want to give them, yeah. They want to give, yeah. They want to give them, you know what I'm saying, 30 years. Lock them up for all the eternity because the truth is coming out. It don't if they're the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible, it don't supposed to be no war. It's supposed to be peace on the earth. It's supposed to be tranquility on the earth. It's supposed to be real food on the earth. But that ain't, ain't going to happen until the real people get back into power. The true, the true servants of the Lord, right? It says, an unwise king destroyed his people. What, what are we seeing, man? What are we doing here? You see this man destroying everything. Every time I turn around, it's a person complaining about they rent or something. Or the light, or their life just just through just hell. You 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 talk, you talking about some um for uh, send you to hell, hell you in it. Nobody ain't gotta send you to hell, you in hell. A hellish condition. Sufferings. You see, poverty. Tell someone, tell someone, you had that Israelite woman with that black dress on. Tell someone, send her to hell. Oh, baby, you're in it, all right? As long as the wicked is ruling, you're going to stay in hell, all right? There ain't no mystical creature place, you know what I'm saying, with fire everywhere. You know what I'm saying, this, this damn um, um, mystical creature, you know what I'm saying, with a pitchfork, with some uh, pointy, sharp teeth, you know what I'm saying, just standing there laughing like hell. You're in hell, all right? And you're being ruled over by some devils, by some deceivers, but you but you still don't get it. This is an unwise king destroyed his people. Or all the people not destroyed or what? Everybody on damn drugs, cracked out, fiend out. People just walk around dirty and sticking. Look at the youth. They they gone and bug the hell out. Just walk around. Everybody got demons on them. You see? Blame it on the damn rulers, man. All right? You wonder why you wonder why these thugs running around. You wonder why all everyone was saying she's a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? Blame the rulers of the people. You wonder why you see all these people are turning their lifestyles up. Blame the rulers, man. All right? The power was given to them to control the earth. So, so they're controlling it the way they see fit. And don't think that they're going to um, pass some righteous um, laws or anything like that, because they're not. They're the wicked, according to the Bible. The Lord said their ruling is short. An unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. See, the Lord gave him the rulership. Remember Job 9, 24, the earth is being ran. The, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Remember that scripture? So the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. He take down one king and set up a king. Pursuant to um, Daniel the fourth chapter. Right? I think it's Daniel 4 and 17. Can't thank the Lord enough, man. Then should you go to the dinner, you got to pay this expense. This shit is crazy. Hell, hell, getting your teeth clean at the dinner, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you might as well be paying a mortgage. It's like paying a mortgage when you go to the damn dentist, man. Man. You got to go out of the country just to get your teeth clean for a reasonable price. This shit is crazy. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, but we don't know what we're talking about, right? We just, we just some disgruntled guys, I'm saying, just, just speaking about nothing, right? The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he was set over it one that is profitable. Why y'all always complaining? Why y'all always why why are you not complaining? Y'all always complaining. Put on your boots and strap them up. Put on your boots and strap them up. Do you not know that this system was created for us to not get ahead? You can put on damn three pair boots and strap them up tight. You still ain't going nowhere. It's a glass ceiling over our head. Over the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians here, it's a glass ceiling to where they created a system to where we can't make it. What are you a part of that? Don't you understand? You don't get that yet. You don't mean tell me you don't know that yet. You haven't realized that yet. 
that this system doesn't give a damn about us. You, you still been around all the years. You still just stupid. Don't know nothing. Just sitting around. Blah, 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 blah. Wake the hell up, man. The Lord said, in due time, though, he's going to set one over the earth that is profitable to the earth. You see? Only thing they have been doing is destroying the earth. Destroying the whole earth. What's it? Um, Revelation 11 and 8. So on this thing load up, man. Things may be doing to destroying the earth. Bear with me. Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come. In the time of the dead, that they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them. Was destroy the earth. And, and, and he's coming to destroy them, which destroy the earth. Let me get this. I want, I want to stay in Revelation. Let's stay here. I got one more out there. Then I'm going to wrap it up. I just want to bring something out, man. We can't thank the Lord enough for, for letting us know what's getting ready to happen. He's getting ready to come and take down these wicked people, man. Our son, as long as this devil's rule, our sons and our daughters will never be safe. Our sons and our daughters will never be safe up under this tyrant, man. We would never be safe. If you got, if you got um, your daddy and your mama up in age, you always got to worry about this devil doing something to them. They'll never be safe. Your woman would never be safe. Plant life won't be safe. The birds will never be safe. You, anything you name it, man. The lions, tigers, bears, oh my. Nothing will ever be safe. The water, the air, nothing's safe. Everything's in danger. Everything is in danger. Everything is mourning right about now. What part of you don't you see it? Everything is mourning because the wicked is ruling the earth. Everything, man. Every damn thing. I'm gonna keep saying it through the spirit. Everything's sick. Motherfuckers sad everywhere. Everybody complaining, war everywhere, homelessness everywhere, poverty everywhere. Oh, but they're, but they're the enemy. They're the, not me, not me. I'm the wicked. I'm the wicked. I'm destroying everything, but I'm not the bad guy. I ain't did nothing good for the earth in the last 500 years. The earth is tired. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, and it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them, woe, destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil, the deceiver, the slanderer, is come down unto you, having great wrath. Don't you see it, Israel? He's coming down with great wrath, right? Why? A why, though? Because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So he rolling this thing out, man. He rolling this thing out like carpet, man, and he's getting ready to make it mandatory. Whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. He's getting ready to make it mandatory that you take an implantable device in order to buy or sell. And it doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Your ass going to get caught out there. You're going to be in that sea here blind, and then you're going to believe. Yeah. You're going to have to end up in that sea here blind with your damn stomach touching your back, and you're going to say, they said it was going to have it. With your baby in the arm. Every time you open your eyes, you know what I'm saying, and look out into the world, you see how it's being destroyed. You're like, shit. Wait, 20, Joe, 20. This will be my last one. I'm going to wrap it up, man. I said what I had to say, man. The Lord said in due time, he's going to set one over the earth that is profitable. We're not going to have to worry about these evil bastards soon come, Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're not going to have to worry about someone stopping you, talking about where you're going. Our people ain't got a problem with nothing that's going on. All this wickedness is going on, and they ain't got a problem with nothing. As long as they can get that damn fat back, you know what I'm saying? As long as they can hide them Easter eggs. 
As long as they can eat some shrimp. You know what I'm saying? They don't care nothing about nothing else. Bear with me. Just bear with me. As long as you can get some damn chitlins. I people don't care nothing about nothing. As long as you can get you some pork chops. Don't even worry about all hell breaking. Don't even worry about people just famine. Don't even worry about this man just burning down and everything. Don't worry about him using um uh, laser beam weapons, the cooking shit, just burning land, land grab. You saw what he did to Hawaii, melted it down, liquefied it. You saw what he did down in um Venezuela, he liquefied it. You see, you saw what he did to um what was it Pleasant California? You saw he he damn sure made it a pleasant. He damn sure made it a pleasant land, didn't he? Oh, it was a paradise. I think it was paradise, California. You can you can fact check that. He saw what he did, and he's coming with great wrath. The Lord says he's coming with great wrath, Israel, because he know he only got a short time. He know his procrastinators, his witches, his warlocks, they're telling him that he only got a short time. That's why he's moving fast now. Why the hell would you be bringing all these people over here to, to, to America? You see... Why the hell would you be bringing all these people over here knowing that the people here uh, can't even make it? <laughs> this is a stupid MFL, man. Straight up. Problem, reaction, solution. And no matter where you stay at, they, the shit, they here. They here in the city, you know what I'm saying? I've been seeing them. They here in the city where I'm at. They everywhere. The people this here can't even afford to stay here, but then you're gonna bring some other people. Ain't no, they won't already want no damn help for the people to stay here, but you're gonna bring some people. This man's causing problems, man. He never helped the people to stay. This, this is a real devil for you, though, right? This is a real deceiver for you, ain't it? He would go to other countries and say, Oh, we're coming here to help y'all because we see that y'all are not getting help. We see that y'all aren't eating. We see that y'all need housing. We see that y'all need uh, Medicaid and insurance and things of that nature. But but the place that he stole, the place that he's ruling, he don't help nobody. This is a true devil, ain't it? But but we're the crazy ones, though, right? The men on the highway, the Bible is reading the Bible week in and week out. We're the, we're the crazy ones, really? R really? Where they do that at? Job 20. Job, this is my last one. Job, I'll just, just a spiritual rant, you see? Something's on my mind, something's on my mind, right? Job 24, knowest thou not this of old? Since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing, meaning the ruling, Oh, the wicked is short. It seems like it's been a long time, but it's going to be short in comparison to all eternity because we're going to rule for all eternity. All eternity. You see? Upon a Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, King David, the 12, and the men on down, all right? You'll you never have a woman in a, in a uh, rulership position ever again. Of serving authority over a man. Only a wicked person would do that. Put a woman over a man. That's out of order. We read, you no know, saying, so rock the Tim chapter, uh, um, a wise king, you no know, saying, will have everything pretty much well, running well and in order. Everything is going back to being in order, all right? It says the joy, the, the triumph of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, they ain't nothing but actors sit around all day, you know what I'm saying? Like they doing something. You see them walking through, you know what I'm saying, with briefcases and all this shit. They ain't doing nothing. You see them on TV, you know what I'm saying? Sitting in a round table, you know what I'm saying? Hitting a little matter down at that. Oh, so so this, we have this many votes for this. We have this many. Ain't nothing changing. Changing for the damn worse. And all the damn lying ass politicians get to make all the money while the hard working citizens don't make shit. The people that don't never do nothing for nobody, you you so called vote them in, which your vote really don't count. You know what I'm saying? You ain't nobody voting nobody in. Everybody's pre selected already. Who's going to rule? Who's going to be in that seat? And who's going to be in that seat? It's an illusion. It's all an illusion to make you think that you're, you're, you're doing something. But you, know, you ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Though His Excellency mount up to the heavens. And his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. Obadiah 1 and 18. Obadiah 1 and 18. After they serve us for a thousand long drawn out years. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? 
He shall fly away as a dream, more like a damn nightmare. You see? And he shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which have saw him, so I get the eye also which saw him shall see him no more. We can't thank the Lord enough for this day right here, man. Just the fact of knowing that this day is coming, you know what I'm saying? it makes you shed tears. And it makes you say, Kahalayam la yahawa, bahashem yahawa shai, bahashem rakakwa dash. Knowing that this day is really going to come, it's not, it's not a lie, it's not far fetched, it's real. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. You got to worry about this raw piece of chicken looking devil, you know what I'm saying, coming up to you, talking about where you're going. Where you going, where you been, and, and how long you going to be. There ain't, ain't going to be no such thing as a damn passport. We're going to go as we please in that day. Our children are going to be safe. Our our mothers and fathers are gonna be safe. You got a mama, you got you got a daddy and a mama. They're gonna be safe. They ain't gonna have to worry about nothing. For the Israelites, we will never have to worry about anything ever again once this devil goes down. Remember that, man. The eye also would saw him. That's why I'm, that's why I'm so excited right about now. The eye also would saw for fresh food. Give me some grapes. Give me some watermelons with seeds. Give me a lemon with seeds. Give me some um uh, uh, uh give me some uh what, what's, my, what's my favorite? Some tea, some iced tea. Give me some iced tea with a with a real lemon in it. You know what I'm saying? Freshly squeeze. And, and, and everything's chiming in. Freshly squeeze. Give me a smoothie. I want a smoothie. You see? Service. We're gonna have service and everything, man. It's going to be beautiful too, man. I can't, oh, man. What did it say? Neither shall his place be any anymore. Be, neither shall his place anymore behold him. You see? And this is the day that's fastly approaching. We just got to hold on. Continue to believe. It's going to happen. If it's written up in the Bible, it's going to happen, Israel. Soon, soon come we have to worry about these devils, Israel. <clears throat> Not to worry about him, his woman, or his child getting on our last damn nerve. We got to worry about seeing them having the final things in life and we in the damn poverty stricken neighborhoods fucking ducking, ducking from bullets and shit. So before we even walk out the door, we got to pray. Hell, they don't pray before they walk out their door. They don't pray when they get in their car. They don't pray. Because they got it all already. They don't need to pray for nothing because they got it already. Ain't no need of them hoping for anything because they got it all re already. They don't worry about their damn bills. Nothing to eat. They don't worry about fresh water. Hey, they want some grapes with seeds in it. Hey, they can get a helicopter to fly to them. Or they fly to it. They can go somewhere where the glaciers are and drink that real water. You know what I'm saying? It's coming straight out of the mountains. It's flowing over the rocks. Almost over Israel. Shalom.